Oh look, Discovery Princess is Apparently there are two ships that have landed. One is the Princess Line and ours is Celebrity. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and the weather's nice and warm and yes. toasty. Not too humid, a nice little breeze. And playing good music. Yeah. That's the music we use in Zumba. <laughs> That's the princess, the Discovery Princess. And this is the Eclipse. These ships are so huge and you don't realize it until you get off and then you can see everything. My God. Amazing. Side by side, look at that. That's the princess and that this is our ship here. Look at that. I don't know if we go on this part of the pier. I just will follow everybody out. Yeah. Look at that. There's an ambulance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Beautiful island. I like the weather. Yes. Yeah. Very picturesque. I yeah. mean, uh, I like the old colonial buildings and the place we're going to uh, the Fairview Manor is a typical example of colonial architecture. So um, we're going to have a tour of that as well. So. Yay. But the most important part is the food <laughs> and the rum tasting. Yes. Slots. Yeah, by the time we get there, we'll just be in time. <laughs> behind us and, uh, and then show the rocks here the formation yeah that. I guess this place gets hurricanes a lot yeah I'm guessing but don't know for sure I think the girl from uh, Sushi on Fire is right. This is such a nice port. Immediately you're welcome by stores. So we'll do that when we come back. We can spend some time here. If you're sure, 6.30. Yeah. And then we just board that thing. So we just spend some time walking around the town. That'll yep. be nice. If we're able to walk around because we have all those rum samples that I will know. be in our body. Yes, I can't wait. Really pleasant to the eyes. It's. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but nice colors, very soft, soothing colors. You mean when the you architecture? I'm talking about the architecture, yes. Yeah. Hello. Hi. We're Yes, that'll be great. This is the culinary Perfect. thing. Perfect. So we are going to be meeting under the first yellow arch here, okay? That, so we just go into the yellow arch. We're going to have a sign over there. All right. Thank you so yeah. much. Oh, culinary experience and rum tasting. Yes. Awesome. Get in the back of the line. Thank okay. you. Okay. 
So we found out we're our tourists, so we're right in the back of the line. Yeah. So we meet under the first yellow arch. Sure. Let's see how. Our line is moving. Thank you. Boarding 6.30. Thank you. Thank you. I can actually stand up on this. <laughs> Much better on the inside. Yeah. Welcome to my little island, St. Kitts. My name is Winston. Winston but you can call me Mr. Churchill. Churchill. Yeah. The young one. Remember the young one. one. I'm the young one. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be a driver. I'm going to be a guide to take you on the, the, uh, the the culinary and rum tasting tour, yeah? Yes. In St. Yeah. Kitts, the driver is the guy. <laughs> the guide is the driver. Yeah. We drive on the left and we give it track on the right. But today we celebrate Labor Day. So today is a public holiday in St. Kitts. Oh, that is when the, the workers are going to be marching in the streets of Bastille peacefully. Okay. It's not a protest, it's just a uh, a march. I think you folks cool. celebrate it in September. Well, in America, September. okay. But we celebrate it in the first Monday in May. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um. So we're gonna drive. We're gonna drive through town. That if we could pass, and then we go to Romney. Um, we go to Fabius Great House and Botanical Garden. That's where you're gonna have your Caribbean cuisine and rum tasting tour. Okay. Yeah. And then from there. I please, take please. you back. Yes, yeah, it's a garden, yeah. And then you're gonna jump back on the bus, and I'm gonna continue the tour. Sounds good? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. So your bus driver, Winston. Winston. Your tour guide, Winston. <laughs> your bus number, GT fifty, GT five zero. Okay. If you don't remember that. It's the number after 49. Oh. <laughs> the number before 51. It's, it's your age? If you don't remember that, remember Hawaii 5 -0. I soon to be. Oh, okay. okay? Yes. So, is everyone's good? Yes. yes. If everyone is good, give me a thumbs up. Yes. Everyone is good. So, let's go and have a bit of fun. Thank you, yes. Eric. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> building that is on our left that is coming up it's a uh, that development bank that love to help students with those student loans so they could go to university in america canada or even england to study so they lend them student loans also on our left it's government headquarters this is where our prime minister the honorable dr terence drew have his office in there's where the host like national assembly house of assembly or cabinet the National House of Assembly or Cabinet, it's made up of a member of 14. You have eight from St. Kitts, you have three from Nevis, then you have what you call three senators. We're here finally at the Fairview Botanical Winston. Garden. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Winston. Thank you, Winston. Yes, sir. Cool. 
seems to be warmer here. <laughs> yeah. You know, the sun. And they have free Wi Fi right. too. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, look at that. Yeah, cool. This oh my resort. God, this is beautiful. We could spend some time Gorgeous. here. Yeah. Then relax. Ah, oh, nice. Wow. There's a koi pond right down there. Mm -hmm. Look at the view. You can see Nevis from here too. That's right. And this is, a, as I said before, a primary example of colonial architecture built in 1701 by the French. So Alexander Hamilton was actually born mm -hmm. in Nevis. Yes, that's right. Yeah. But when I said St. Kitts and Nevis, that's yes. what the whole two islands are known All right. for his birth, so he appears on the $10 bill. <laughs> to meet the chef, and I hope they have a demonstration so that we can learn from something. And I hope they have pre-printed recipes. Yeah. You know? And I hope the food's good, you know. Yeah. Look at this. Pretty. Wow, it's beautiful. This botanical garden's really mm -hmm. lush and green. I want to get connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. They have a gift shop here too. Got to check that out. Oh, cook's room. They may be cooked. Here. So we can right here. I'll be in the corner. The corner, right here. So we're sitting now. Yeah. Can't wait. We're just waiting for it to start. Excited, Adam? Yes, I am. Yeah. How is everyone doing? Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Ready to eat, drink some rum, get jiggy and wasted, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I just cut the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to St. Thank you for choosing Caribbean culinary experience. My name is Shea, and it's my pleasure being your chef. If you can see straight forward what we are doing here, you can move over my head, you see everything right here. Oh, that's right. I didn't see so that. So today we're going to be preparing the national dish. It's coconut dumplings, stewed salt, which all salted cod, seasoned breadfruit, spicy black beans. I added jerk chicken to the menu. It's not a high cup of national soup, but I add that just in case anyone allergic to fish, they can have chicken or whatever. Okay? Yeah. But you can have both while you eat. Yes. And then I'm going to do a coconut bread pudding for dessert. Yeah and a rum sauce to go over that bit. Okay, so you guys are in for a treat today. It's a holiday for us, so we are not sober right now. Okay? <laughs> yes. All right. Nice. So, we're gonna start with the jerk chicken. So on the recipe that you stand, you see how to make the jerk seasoning, the different spices, the four yeah. hot peppers that you have seen there, that I use spicy. hot bonnet peppers. Okay? You can use any type of hot peppers you like. Scotch bonnet is my favorite hot peppers I love to use, so that's why I need that part in the Okay? If you have any questions, please don't be I got it. I, and I got this. So what I have here for the jerk chicken is the oven. So I preheated my pan before you guys get up so it can be good. So the chicken was marinated overnight. So what I do, I just place the chicken in 
Sear them on one side first and then I'll just turn them over and cover it so it can finish to right here on the top. So you can do it this way or if you want to use your oven, you sear on both sides and then you put it in the oven. Okay? So we're just going to let that sear. And what I have here guys, these are the coconut dumplings. Anyone, any, anyone ever eating coconut dumplings or made coconut dumplings at home? Yeah. So the coconut dumpling, this is white flour. For the, the jerk chicken. So it's the four hot peppers that I use. Black bonnet, you see all spices, you can add salt, black pepper, whatever you like. But the, the main purpose of this jerk is the hot pepper that you use. So when you get back home, you open your recipe and you can see all the ingredients that I blend and put on my chicken. Which you can put it on beef or pork if you like, either one. Okay? No question, guys. Could you use jalapeno peppers? Yeah, you can use whatever you love. Yeah, but spark is a, it's a, it's a main hot pepper that right. we see on the island. We have so much different culture here on the island. Guyanese, um, Jamaicans, Haitians, Americans. So we just use everyone bits and pieces and we just create our own culture. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what I have here, guys, if you look up, it's just water I put on. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt before I place the dumpling in. Ooh. So the dumpling is white flour, unsweetened coconut, butter, water and salt. The dumplings in. They're going to go to the bottom of the water first, okay guys? When they cook, they rise on top, you know they are already done. Their water is not going to it's no, hot. it's just, yeah. If, if your water is boiling, it will cook even quicker. Okay, but the, the fire is not on high, high heat. Okay. But if it's boiling, it's much better. Because you're dumping the quicker, especially if you're hungry. Yeah. Let's turn that heat up. Okay. Yeah. So guys, you can see why? I am. Yeah. So you see the chicken or the pork, the beef, whatever you want to cook. Turn it over, cover it. You leave it here for about an extra five to ten minutes and then you can take it out until you get to eat. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. so see breadfruit? Yes. Yes. Eat breadfruit? Uh -huh. Yeah? Yes. Anyone from Florida? Jamaica. Okay. Jamaica? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the breadfruit, it cooks like a potato, it's a starch, doing our tour, going through. Maida is going to give you that part of the history of the breadfruit and the salted part of the color of here on the island. Okay, so the breadfruit, you can, if you don't have breadfruit, guys, you can use any type of vegetables you like. Whether it's pumpkin, carrots, green bananas, so much zucchini, you name it. Whatever you want to use, it will prepare it the way that I'm doing the seasoned vegetables. So I'm going to start with my onions, bell peppers, and I'm going to use a cucumber. Anyone ever cook with cucumber? Yes. Of course. Yeah? Very nice. So what I do with the onions, when I'm dicing or slicing the onion, I peel the skin off and leave the root on. Mm. The root helps hold the onion together and it helps prevent you from killing eyes. Oh. So you require a lot when you're dicing the onion, ah. leave your root on. Okay? So you don't have to be chasing the onions and all that juice spilled from the onion, it gets in the eyes and you start crying. <laughs> so leave your root on. So I'm just going to slice my onions and peppers for the seasoning with. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of all the breadfruit and the salted part from about here on the side. 
Okay, guys, so when to you don't have to sell it. As the chef said, very similar to our potato. Whatever you can do with the potato, you can do with the bread. Now, it wasn't originated here in the Caribbean. It actually came from the Haiti. Now, they started bringing the bread to towards the Caribbean because it was a cheap start to feed the slaves. It also had them to work for a longer period of time and to work harder as well. Now, when they first started this process, it started on the island of St. Vincent. Then it came all the way from the land, which is why most of the Caribbean islands, their national dishes have something to do with breadfruit and so forth. For example, Jamaica, as you said, they do breadfruit and in their national dish, they have ackee and sourdough. But, right? Yes. Now, when we first started here on the island of St. Vincent, we didn't know what it was. We didn't know what to do with it, we didn't know how to use it. But eventually, after having no other choice but to use it, we started understanding the benefits of the bread food. So we started making more part of our lives. Then it became a part of our national dish, which is the seasoned bread food, spicy plantain, coconut dumpling, and stewed sawfish, all the salted fat. Now, also the salted fat. Back in the days, that was also a cheap fish to feed the slaves as well. So, which is why they imported it in salted cups in the preservation of the fish. You don't have no type of fresh part here in the Caribbean. So, all of our cut fish is imported as salted fish. Okay? What I did, I add vegetable and extra virgin olive oil. It's a good compliment when I use both oil, but you can cook with whatever oil you like to cook with. But it just gives my food a good flavor, that's why I use those types of oil. So I'm adding the onions, the peppers. I'm gonna add some garlic. If you're not cooking with garlic, guys, you're not cooking. Right, uh, right, you yeah. Have to cook with garlic. Damn it. Garlic. Yeah. <laughs> you love garlic? You guys drink garlic tea at home? No. 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 You guys say no like you're disgusting. Like you're no, no. Disgusting. It's a no of surprise. We have garlic ice cream. We have garlic ice cream. Garlic ice cream. It's really good. Yes. Ah, it's delicious. It's delicious, yeah. Can we get it today? Oh no. Well, it's very easy to make at home. Maybe one or two cakes of that, and then you can take some cookies over it, and then you just let it sleep. Then you drink it. Some people don't need to eat honey to that, you can add a lime. That sounds good. Oh, that's what you The garlic and the ginger was good for the cold, and it kept boosting up the mood. Everyone drinks it here <laughs> the island, even the small little pigs. They are dying for the garlic. Garlic and ginger. So it just gets extra here on the island. Everyone is using garlic here. <laughs> I love garlic. Cooking, making tea, everything. See if we knock the, the, the meat, everyone uses garlic here on the island. It's amazing. Garlic and it does, actually, that's yeah. true, blood pressure. And if you're just cooking it, it sends up your kitchen. Yes. yes. It's like, that's a big chef over there. <laughs> you got it. Really good. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt, black pepper. And I'm going to add red pepper flakes or chili. Just a little spice. And I'm going to add some mangoes. Mm. Yeah. If you don't drink wine, we're gonna eat it today. Okay, <laughs> On the recipe that you have, you see chicken stock. And I love to cook with wine. That's why I'm using the wine. Okay? I'm gonna add the wine. So it's a dry white wine. It's a that chicken brought here. And what I did, I like the seeds of the cucumber, guys. And I'm going to put it in. The seeds in the cucumber, it makes your salad more 
actually will be salad to this stage of when you make oh. salad. Okay. How is it back home? Is it hot, cold? Cold, cold. Cold, very cold. What you tell? California, it's hot. And you put it in boiling water with a pinch of salt oh. and you cook that for maybe about 10, 15. It just depends on how firm your bread food is. Because bread food takes a little longer time to cook than white or sweet potato. Okay? So it just depends on how firm your bread food is. And bread food has a lot of benefits as well too that get part here. And it's extra, extra salt. Ah. Extra, extra salt. So what we do, we boil this about two to three times before pairing it. How we do here on the island. Okay? So, we boil it on the first water, throw that out, and then on the second, third water, you add a little bit of brown sugar to help with the process of that. Okay. The first boil, you can do it like about five, ten minutes. Okay. And then when you boil yes. the last time, then yes. you get it out. And then if you just clean that scale, that skin off, and you prepare it for me that I want to prepare it. Some persons do it the same way, some persons do it a bit different. And then when they use it to make the vegetables that I'm using here, guys, they are locally grown here on the island except for the garlic. The garlic needs a more colder temperature, so we import all of the garlic here on the island. We do grow garlic in a very long time. And when they do come in, the heat is on. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense. So we just import the garlic. All of the onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, green bananas, bread food, everything else, we can do right here on the island. Here the skin off, leave the meat on, so you can dice or slice your onion. It's very easier that way. You don't have to be chasing the onions all over the cutting board, and it helps prevent you from seeing the cats. Okay? Indians do that, there's a garlic paste. Every time you're cooking. Okay? I add onion, the garlic, and the tomato, along with the peppers. I'm going to add some grated carrots. Mmm, smells good. Yes. 
have the, the seeds of red fruit, the chicken, the fish, and the dumplings. What I have here, these are the spicy plantains. So on the recipe that I understand, you see everything that I blended, the ginger, the onion, you can add garlic if you like, red pepper flakes, you put some oil inside of that, you blend it, and then use the white plantains, slice them and soak them in that mixture. That can stay there for about a half an hour to an hour, so it can absorb all that spices and then you fry them. Ooh. Okay. So this is why I have these ones, so you can see that we have those, but I already have some already fried. Part. Yes, the interactive part. The audience humiliation <laughs> part. <laughs> Don't record this. <laughs> okay. I'll need one. <laughs> so, you guys are ready? Okay. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woo! You put your left foot in, you put your right foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. But it's all about <laughs> You put your right foot in You put your right foot up You put your right foot in And you shake it up You do the hokey-pokey And you turn yourself around that's what it's all about. You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Fun. 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 I got <laughs> Thank you. Uh, not one of my better moments. <laughs> Woke him up. Later down in life. Yes. Okay, guys. So what I have here is a seed pot that came from our national tree. Now the tree is called well, the flower on the tree is called La Poinciana or the Flamboyant. Usually comes in a color red, yellow, and orange as well. And she mostly blooms in the summertime. Can you guys guess? Why am I telling you this? They're in the gift shop. They're in the gift shop. <laughs> yes, exactly. So once we're finished with our twine, you go over to the gift shop. You can purchase one a nice little souvenir to remember us by. Or a nice little gift for the nieces, the little nephews, the toddlers, the grandchildren. Anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, Maria, Maria and Lou. Happy anniversary to you. These raisins that I soak for my bread pudding, these raisins soak since January, you see, this is May. 
they are happy ladies. <laughs> this doesn't even compare to my mom. What I do for my Christmas, I soak my razor for the whole 12 months. And wow. Then wow. wow! 12 long months. Wow. Yes, then I bake my rum Very, very happy way to do Okay? Drunken raisins. Wow. So what, what I do, I just put the raisins over. You guys will have to add some of this rum to okay? You can add the rum. Oh, the bread. So the raisins and the bread, they are extra happy. And then we're going to add a twice sweetened coconut flakes. Uh -huh. okay, that's what we're doing. Oh, look at that. And we add the custard. The custard there is 6 eggs, 14 ounce coconut milk, 14 ounce heavy cream, mm. and I add some cinnamon. Cinnamon is my favorite. Yes, so yes. Chicken baking, yeah. So I add that. So just pour it over and then cover it, put it in the refrigerator uh -huh. overnight or a few hours before That's baking. Really cool. That'd be a good And then you bake dessert. it in a 325 oven for 35 to 45 minutes. Okay? So you ship the what point? <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah! Oh, that looks so good. Looks good. Would you like the whole pan? Uh, mm. Looks good, doesn't it? Ooh. Yum. I think I just have a little bit of meat here. Mm, it smells good. Assume that's for the rum. Mm. Like guys, this way your chicken, the beef, or pork will taste very moist. Don't get dry when you're doing it like this. The demonstration is good. Uh -huh. French is very good. Mm, interesting. <laughs> so refreshing. <Delicious. laughs> All right. I can't get pictures. Can we do it now? Yeah. Tash is so such an expert. Look at that. She's an expert to pouring. <laughs> and it's very serious too. Look at that. Cats 
was excellent because you could see actually in the mirrors upside watching her cook. The recipes are available online and um, they explain very clearly you know, all the five dishes that they're making. It's amazing. So now the proof is in the pudding by tasting. So yes. that's what we're doing now. Mm. Mm. I just had the salted fish too, it's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. The spicy plantain. Mm. You need to get some more salted. Mm. And this is the coconut dumpling. Mm. It really goes well with this. Mm. That's the chicken. The breadfruit. Mm. Mm. Just like the potatoes. Uh, now the chicken. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. I love the spice. I'm going to do it with the color. Yay. Now you're, it's your turn to eat, Marco. Mm. Looks yummy. I love the chicken. Mm -hmm. The chicken is like for like four or five, six shifts in a day. Mm. So sometimes being minor, we all have a place every day. Mm -hmm. But of course. Mm -hmm. And next yeah. next year it's gonna be yeah, next year would be even mm. busy. Mm. Yes, that's yeah. true. This is delicious. Huh? She looks like what? Yeah. <laughs> <We are good. laughs> no doggy bag? I know, right? <laughs> oh, and so my lady is a teacher of someone who is going to be So today, what we'll do, I will give you a little history about one. How we came on the island, how to make it in the walk. Yes. At the end of the show, he's laughing. At the end of the show, we will have our favorite neighbors. All right? What happens here stays here. Stay here. here. All right? <laughs> what's, in, what, what's time today? 6.30. 6.30? Okay, so check me at 7 o'clock in my lab. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have a party, right? Never know. It's a holiday today for us. So. Yeah. <laughs> This rum was mainly in the Caribbean. It started on a little island called Barbados. Yes, where they would expect until rum for the very first time. You guys, when you're trying something new, what can happen? It doesn't come down as flat. Now, this is what happened the Irish, they're the one that actually started the rum drinking here on the islands. So if you're Irish, raise your hands. 20%, 30%, 40%, 40%. Don't be shy, I know this Irish society. Uh -huh. How many percent? About 20%? No. 20%. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. So we're That's blaming Patrick. Name. So we're blaming Patrick for having me drinking rum all night long. Thank you and congratulations. So he started it and we are hunting with it. So in Irish show, so they were indentured servants and they came here to work for. But every living choir to the top, to the bottom, is a rum shop. So, so in the morning, they're drinking rum. Noon, they're drinking rum. Five o'clock, they're drinking rum. Seven o'clock, they're drinking rum. And manning their business. Oh my God. Crazy, crazy, right? Yeah. Moonshine. Yeah. Now, is moonshine illegal in the US? Yes. Yeah. Americans raise their hands. Canadians? Um, yeah, you're Canadian? Uh, Americans? Um, UK? British? Okay, so we have Americans and Canada. So in the US, is moonshine illegal? Yes. Yeah. No. In, <laughs> in Canada, is moonshine illegal? You think so? So yes? 
It's illegal here, but can be found in a way in all sugar cane trees and abandoned backyard. If you're caught making it, you're caught consuming it, it's a crime. Oh. Yes, you can pay the amount of US dollars, $1,295, or equivalent to our money in carbon, about $3,500. Now, if my little friend Patrick, he's my neighbor, and he's making it. I won't call the cops on him because he's Irish. He's not going to share the moonshine with me, right, Patrick? <laughs> yes, he's going to share the moonshine with me. Now, the way to go about to bake in the moonshine, all you need is two oil steel drums, one atmosphere condenser, and one atmosphere water. Of course, you need a uh, wood for fire because you need fire for burning purposes and stuff. So it takes about what the nine days walk me before you can actually start consuming it. Now, we here in the island, we get excited when the moonshine is about to, to drop. So if you see me on the street, today's Labor Day, yeah, it's a holiday what we're working, and you see me partying and getting jiggy, my friend know what I'm talking about, yes. <laughs> no, the yes. first drip, you cannot consume it right away. Why? It can kill you. It can blind you. Methanol. Yes. So you have to wait until it, the color change from dark rum to clear rum, and then you start butting in some nice clean bottle. So my little friend right there, Patrick, who has his water bottle, you can recycle that. So you come in my backyard at seven o'clock, which should be for six thirty. But check that seven o'clock in my backyard, I give you some moonshine. Sounds like a plan? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> now, why is it illegal? Because it's not regulated. That is why the moonshine is not is illegal here on the island. Now, the coconut, the lime, and the coconut from it. So these are some of the flavors that we're going to try today. Wow. They are 70% proof, 76% alcohol. The owners are Bob and Zach, Hensel Fadron, some business. So, hence the name, the ship went over on the island. Now, the owners are Bob and Zach, Hensel Fadron, some business. So, hence the name, the ship went over on the island. Now, we're going to start off with the lime. The lime? Yes, yeah, the lime. So as I told you guys, it's 70 percent proof, 72, yes, yes. 36 percent alcohol. Now the lime is considered to be a medicinal rum, yes, <laughs> yes. If you have children and they're teething, it will soothe your tongue. If you're suffering from sinuses, it will clear your airways. If you have a husband egg, a wife egg, it helps soothe all those things. You put the lime in the coconut shit. <laughs> the lime box. So you guys will be able to try the lime. Alright, so I call it Midas in Pascal Rum. So if this is the molasses and that's it, you can take it and that's what so everybody gives. <laughs> um, God is the drive. Patrick, this should be for you, right? Whoa! <laughs> He's got it, guys. Wow. He said cheer, but not as yet. We're going to do it on the last shot. Oh. He said cheer. What do you say? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, we just said cheers. We're going to do that last, last shot. We do cheers, okay? Or salute. Last time. Say salute. Yeah. Yeah, we said cheers here. So, say hello. Salute. 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 <laughs> so this is the ladies very good I don't think you guys are trying that one, but I just want to say Cheers. Oh my god. That's good. What place is that? Uh, the spice. Oh, spice. Yeah, it's spice one, but you guys don't try it. <clears throat> I like the vanilla, the vanilla one. It's like vanilla extract. You like Delicious. It? I love it. Um, the it's like a shot. It's actually okay. Madagascar vanilla beans. The best. Yeah. So we don't grow vanilla beans in the island. So Bob and Zach, they're the one that actually uh, import the beans from. Wow. From nice. Madagascar. Burning. That's gonna be expensive. Right? The line is Tahitian. Tahitian line. Nice. 
This really oh, It's smooth. That's really good. It's not my favorite though. I just have it. Okay. Uh, shut. This one. <laughs> Let's do this. That's my favorite one. It's not drinking. Okay. I get to try two. So you already have the nine. Vanilla. I knew you were going to do that. Vanilla. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's considered to be a ladies' drink. Oh. It's very smooth with the vanilla. You can pour it over your ice cream. Yes. And it's very smooth with the vanilla. You can pour it over your ice cream. Yes. You can use it as a sweetener for your cream to coffee. Yes. So at morning, instead of having your syrups, use it as a syrup base. So at morning, when you're having your pancakes uh -huh. with your fish sauce, <laughs> your eggs, and drink. your bacon, pour it all over, over. back to your bed. Yes. <laughs> I like that. This one is nice. And for those of you who bake cakes at home, you can pour this over your cakes. Oh, yes. Oh, that would be a great idea. Sponge cake. Whatever time you bake your cakes, you can always Pound use this cake. one. Oh, oh sorry. It's having Pound a cake. sweetener. Now, for those of you who love coffee, who doesn't you like can use it as a sweetener for your coffee. Yes. So instead of using sugar, you use this good. as your sweetener. The morning will be fine, right? Yeah. So if you're working, raise your hands. Working. Are you working still or retired? Retired. So it's even better, straight in your bed. No, you don't have a boss to stress you out, right? No. Nope. Perfect. Relax. I'm working. <laughs> How do you feel now? Straight up. We have like five of them to try. No, no, no. Straight up. Straight up. So we're going to be trying the lime rum right now. It's a flavored yeah. rum that's made on the island. Is this the major brand, Shabrak? Um, on the island, one of the major brands, yes. But we do have, um, what do you Thank you. Got it. Marconi, get yours. Uh, yeah, all those ones. So we have uh, the big people ship that Can you, um, we have Bellman and all that. But this one is, um, uh, got it. Top. All right. On top, top. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's more cheaper. <laughs> mm hmm. It's more cheaper. You guys can just shot it, don't be an Go shot it, go shot it. Shot? Okay, yeah. cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, that's good. You like it? It's smooth, right? So with the lime, as it's only lime. Wow, can, that's smooth. You can do a lime on with lime on it all, or you can make some spice. Whoa, that's delicious. You can just spice, wow. you can use a mountain juice or seven. Did you check? I, I chugged it, is that right? Yeah, so that's, that's right. how you do it? A shot? Fine. Like a shot? Yeah, just shot it, yeah. How come there are two of you? <laughs> wow, this is really potent. That's so good. It's <laughs> really <laughs> warm, okay? Oh, God. It's <laughs> Oh, so you're sharing for the next um, the shots? Okay. Sharing is caring. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, sometimes these ones, they're a bit hard to open. Uh-huh. So a little bit inside of it. Let's gin it. Now this one is coconut cream. Right, coconut guys cream. Ready? Yeah. ready? This is coconut cream we're gonna toast. Okay. Get those shots up. Get those shots up. Yeah. Oh you guys are sharing. Alright. Cheers to Saint Cats. Cheers. Cheers to St. Cats. Cheers to your shot. Cheers, chef. Cheers, chef. Cheers, Cheers to your host, Maida. Host is Maida. Cheers. Cheers, Maida. Cheers to Tash. Cheers to Tash. Cheers to a happy life. Cheers to a happy life. Shop, 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 shop. Shop, 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 shop. You say Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Wow. Israel. Israel. Oh, Israel. oh that's, that's very small. Mmm. Yeah. Very nice. How oh, was that one? That was, that was good. good. Okay. Ooh, really good. It's over. Delicious. It's not. So you know, try the So this is the same um in the market. So the one you guys just tried is the coconut one cream. It's the same, seventy percent coke, thirty percent alcohol. Alright, this one you can have it straight 
on the locks of all the this one as well sometimes you can add a Sprite. So as a cocktail, you could add Sprite with it, or sometimes a tea. Right. I, yeah. I got you. <laughs> right there. So, so yes, you can. Instead of a Malibu, just yeah. get my bowl of club probably about two to three months. So I'm then they're new on the back. Right? Wow. Yeah. Flavorings are excellent. They do good flavorings. I would take this more than the Malibu. Right? Let's try it. Let's, let's try it. Right. Okay. Some person call it local moonshine or flavored moonshine. Local moonshine. Yeah, or flavored moonshine. Mm. Without the cherries. Oh, mango. So the mango is Brazilian mango. Yes. Now what happened? You can't get one in a store. Why are we using Brazilian mangoes? Yes, we do have mangoes here on the island. But the monkeys are pestilence. Oh, monkeys monkey. say monkey do. So the monkeys will get the mangoes before us. As a matter of fact, uh, we are in May, so around this time of the year, the mangoes already started to ripe up and stuff like that. So what will happen is that the monkeys are a human. The dog is a fish. Okay, now Marconi you get, gets two. Monkeys. One for you, one for me. And then uh, to the gentleman up All right. there. To Patrick, that's not a saint. <laughs> okay, okay, let's try this. Right here. Cheers. Cheers. Mango. Mango. I like that. Mm. It's nice. It's not that strong. It's strong, but that's what I like. God, it's delicious. And there's a flavor. Where you from? Palm uh, Springs, California. Palm Springs. California? Yeah. yeah. Uh, originally, if you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is so good. I love oh, mangoes. Nice. Mangoes from oh. uh, Palm Springs. Delicious. So I we're used to this. That, that 105 is nothing. Bunker, right? That's just like, we get up to 130. So you want the whole bottle? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. All right. This one is an equivalent to moonshine. So we'll see. Small one? <laughs> no. Who likes a small one? Want a small one? Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So the, okay, the last Tony. one we had went for me one for you. And this one, just the coconut. There you Hold go. That. Also <laughs> not nut, it's a giant nut. Alright. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, honey. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Coconut. Yes, 15. It's a silent killer. It keeps up on you. For this one, you can add it to your pina coladas, cream to coffee, milk to see you got a bunch of fast and flakes, Cheerios. <laughs> Cheerios? Yes. So <laughs> if you have that three year old or the four year old and they're coming over and they're painting you, you put it in their cereal and they'll be fine. <laughs> yes. So those three year olds, their toddlers, they're painting you. You put it in the cereal, straight in their bed. This one. <laughs> So we cheers and toast to this plate. Ooh, this is so good. I love every single one of them. Yeah. I now how to get them back. I know how you take them back. Uh, I don't think we can take bottles a lot. Yes, you can. The, yes, you can. Ship. Yes, you can. Yeah. If it's duty free, you can. People did it like yesterday. No, someone got questioned. Is that good enough? Coconut, I think. Mm -hmm. You have an allergic reaction? No. Oh, okay. But you should ask me why it's okay. 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 
Is it cream or milk? Why is it white? Coconut. 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 So you can try this one as well. It's gonna be your bonus flavor. Oh, I like this. Oh, Lordy, that's like me. That's even <laughs> wrong. <clears throat> oh, that's really nice. I like that. I do too. It's all of it's been delicious. Oh, it's great. It's okay. Oh, Delish. Delicious. Delicious. Want to the coconut one, please? Yeah. Oh, different. Yes. It's, it's more. Um, yeah. It's more it's better than the lime? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Better than the vanilla? It's stronger. Better than the mango? Yes. Yeah. All right. So now that we have come to the end of the party, I'm going to ask is the closest area. Yeah. And you guys with the taxes are going to be here. So, yeah. so I'm trying to see if you can buy that for a little bit. How much is the banana here? Like delicious. Was it better than the lime? Yes. It's different. It's different. Uh, it's I like smoother. them both. <laughs> Obviously. Do you have your life in too? Like the line you know, the, the, the name is very appropriate. Ship shipwreck. Very appropriate. Shipwreck. After the last model, I'll be a wreck. <laughs> it's so good. We didn't give you, yeah. Drum test! <laughs> 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 oh, she's just 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 so, we can get a little bit of a share share at my own. We do have the big ones in the gift shop, and we have the smaller ones. Okay, so perfect. Okay. Yes. Straight journey to your next year. Thank you, Chad. We hope to see you on another tour. It might not be the cooking and the long tasting, but we do other tours here as well. Yes. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. And if you have a cheap advisor, if you have to pay to pay out and botanical garden, my name is Chef Shay. You're to a guide by the very long tasting to a guide. Thank you guys so much for coming. One more step with all out. It's a step. This is the original kitchen building. Wow. wow. And look at this <laughs> exhaust. Wow. So they put the logs there and then they have logs over there so they could bake bread and fry things here, I guess. Wow. And then they have the place where you could wash dishes. <laughs> Stable houses. Slavery exhibit. Let's check that out. So the filling had to be done manually. Wow. So it is the original bath. That's right, right in here. Mmm. Oh wow, watch your step. The so they had to fill it manually? Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you have to use the stairs. This is for our bath. I mean, for people's bath, right? <laughs> this is for the the the, pe uh, the the owners of the house. The, owner. the master would be first, his wife second, and then the kids. Right? Yeah, so true. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Well, maybe the soap and water. I don't know. That doesn't sound too appealing. <sighs> Oh, guess what this is? Marconi. Oh, God. No. Okay, so. For yes. you guys, there you go. I like running water. It's a commode. Yes. A commode drum. Thank God for running water. Right. Because they have to fill this bath, um, what do you call it, uh, manually. And if the master wanted a hot bath, they would put volcanic stones, which they heated up underneath. And that's how he was assured a warm bath. Wow. So we have to see the master's bedroom, the gentleman's study, all of these areas here. So that's how the... So let's go upstairs. So these are all the owners of Fairview. This is the families of Fairview. All the way from 1706 wow. to 1739. So these are the people. Look at that view over there. You can actually see the ocean from yes. here. I can... Uh, Look at this, and then the room goes in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is nice. This is like a study. Nice. Oh. Beautiful. And there's a wig right here. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's this is called the gentleman's study. So I guess this is where he conducted business and you know. here and nice look at this killer view i mean he had a four post bed here oh the fairview families and then they had the commode right there that mm -hmm. must have been fun to Did clean up fairly not only fairly but beautifully and hello how say that elegantly oh my god look at the view this right over here is the woman's dressing room Makeup room. Okay, let's see. Beautiful. Nice. So I think this is the only other room up here. So on the top floor was the master's bedroom. It's quite spacious. Beautiful wooden floor. But actually, you know, very simple very simply furnished. It wasn't anything fancy, but very practical. Look at the ceiling. Yes. Wow. Cathedral. And to the balcony. Look at this. Wow. Nice. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And of course, I love you. Wow. I feel like... Sir Richard, are the horses ready? 
I want to do some horse riding today. Bird, look at that bird. Oh my goodness. What? Thank you. Here. So this looks like wow. an entertainment thing. Oh, this is the ladies' parlor. The dining. So this Gorgeous. is the ladies' thing, and this is the dining room. Wow! Look at this. It's 16. It's a 16-person table. Wow. All right, let's exit on this one. Okay, let's now go down here. Watch your step. I would love to jump in the pool right now. Look at this pool. Ah. So nice. Oh. It's amazing. I'd love to spend a couple days here. I think this would be nice to have a nice bar. The food is great. Right. Swimming pool. And just a lot of going back in history. I so know. let's go. So long, Tash. So long, Tash. We'll hope to be back. Okay. Ooh. Lord, be careful. Jesus, Mary. <laughs> we're heading back. I mean, we're going back to the bus now. That was fabulous, right, Adam? Fantastic trip. Learned so much about Caribbean cooking. Yes. And everything was so delicious. Indeedy. Till next. Now our country motto is actually country above self. Folks, even though we no longer produce sugar here on the island, we still go under the name Sugar Citizen Kids, Sweet Sugar Citizen Kids, or even the land of sugar, because we are still sweet. For over 350 plus years, we used to produce sugar here on St. Kitts. But after 2005, that was it for our sugar industry. We had to close it. Simply because the A lot of people went to the beach. Havaiana, so they have a lot of stuff from other places. It's not really. That's historic Bastère. So the capital is Bastère, which means low land. It says duty free, free gift for cruise ship passenger only. And then over here they have four dollar t-shirts. You want to check out the t-shirts? Yes. So, there 
Saint I'm here in Saint Kitts. Yeah. Oh, bonjour. Look at you. We meet again. <laughs> So although we didn't get to see the whole island, we saw some of the best parts of the island. Right. We saw a botanical garden in there. We enjoyed a uh, cooking class. Mm. And we were introduced to some basic thing, kitsch Same and kitsch. Nevis uh, cuisine. And Nevisian cuisine. Yes, yes, it was amazing. Yeah. And it just kind of, we got the recipes. So we're going to create some of those things at home, mm. especially the bread pudding and the salt cod stew. The fish stew was excellent. And of course the jerk chicken, which it, everybody has eaten, but their jerk chicken was really good. And it's a pretty interesting venue for the culinary class too. Yes. Yeah. So it was in an old colonial mansion that was built mm. in the 1700s. Yeah. Next time, because we do hope to return to St. Kitts and Nevis, is to enjoy the beaches and yeah. just chill. And chill. But yeah. it's been a fascinating couple of hours yeah. and it was it gave us a good glimpse as to what this island is about right. and it just made us want to come back yeah. more. Only 50,000. It's only 50,000 people on this yeah. side of the island and and our country. And Nevis is, um, what do you call it, uh, 15,000 people. So they're the smallest sovereign nation mm -hmm. represented in the United Nations. That's amazing. So that's, uh, wow, that's yeah. really something. And their pride is Alexander Hamilton. Yes, Alexander Howe, who is Nevisian, so he was born in Nevis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he came to the States, and the rest is history. Sorry. And now you have that musical by Lin Manuel Miranda. Yes. All right, so this is it. So this is it. So we'll say goodbye, goodbye. for now and see you in Bermuda. Yay. Bye.